but underneath Kava, I even have a picture in my phone that there's still a sign that gives a big health disclaimer underneath the tinctures, and that's not included in any other herbal product, but if I go to the Green Life Market in Asheville, North Carolina, there is a sign warning people about Kava. In front of, or are you aware of the fact that, that no I'm not aware of that but how can we change this how we can change it I don't know what I know is that when you review the scientific literature which has been produced for the last 11 years this has been has never been demonstrated scientifically so basically it's just the result of a big noise that has been going around snowballing on the internet but it's not scientifically demonstrated. It's not scientifically true. Why I'm saying that? Because in Germany they told us that kava was uh, hepatotoxic. But when Matthias Schmitz and others started to narrow down the so-called cases and find out what really happened, first of all we found that only one type of extract was involved, WS1490 from Schwabe that was the acetonic extract, only this one. And second, some of the so-called cases were not cases. Uh, they were people with uh, an history of alcohol abuse with a very fragile uh, liver or some on co-medications and blah blah blah, but scientifically they were not cases. So why they made such a big noise? for a story that was not really serious, we don't know. Uh, was that because of the lobby of the ben benzodiazepine producers? We don't know, we just don't know. Was it because it was really something? Maybe, maybe that the Euro Europeans bought peelings, we have some indication that they bought peelings CVCV from Fiji and from here, and extracted pipermethysteines or uh, flavocarvines and they concentrated these uh, potentially toxic molecules, maybe. So if this is what happened, it was the responsibility was on their side because they had no quality control. But this is where the problem come from. They were producing something that was not kava and they were calling it kava. If you extract caffeine from coffee beans and put it in a pill, you cannot call that pill coffee, can you? If you extract uh, anthocyanins from dry raisins and you fill up pills with them, you cannot call that wine. Okay? So kava by law, there is an official definition for kava, is the traditional beverage prepared by extraction, water extraction of the underground organs of the plant piper metastasis. This is what kava is, end of the story, and nothing else. So they made a big noise about kava, but they were completely wrong. They don't know what they are talking about. The, the problem never came from kava. The problem came from another product produced differently out of something which was uh, raw material with no control. So maybe they extracted toxic compounds from roots of other species mixed into the bags because some greedy persons were trying to sell biomass. At that time in Europe they had no quality control, so they have spoiled the name of Kawa. The name is, uh, the reputation of the product is damaged. So this is why we want to s start from scratch and demonstrate that Kava as a food, as a food, is a safe product. Now, a safe food. This is what I'm drinking. Okay, I, I don't. I, I have medical checkups every year for professional reasons. They check my liver. They check everything, and I've been drinking kava for 33 years, and I I, I don't abuse it, but I don't uh, drink alcohol or very little. And here it is. This is what kava is. So it's really a traditional beverage, and we have to make sure that we promote it as a traditional beef, beef, beverage. And people will enjoy it if we can demonstrate that we can control the quality of the product which is exported.